Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. We're going to talk about Quick Settings, which is a little different than Setting Center, and I'll tell you why. Setting Center, which I have come to find out recently, doesn't contain 100% of our settings. There are some application-specific settings that you're only going to find in Quick Settings. So I have my focus in Word again, and I'm going to use Insert V Victor to open up Quick Settings. Quick Settings dash Word dialog, search box edit, control plus E. And as you just heard, focus is in the search box here. And I like to use these search boxes because um, I don't know about you all, but I, I have trouble remembering uh, all of the different settings that are available. available. There, are, there are way too many. Um, so we can search here for a word. I'm going to go ahead and search for the word punctuation and see what comes up. P U N C T. And punctuation, one of one search results. That's the only search result. So if I down arrow to put focus on that result. One search results list box, punctuation most, editing option, cleared, three view. And then I press enter. What I've done is I've moved myself out of the search and down into the tree view and focus has been put at the top of the punctuation settings section indentation ignore and i'm arrowing down through these options okay so we're getting to the the critical piece here about quick settings that makes it different from setting center so yes there are a few settings in quick settings that are application specific that you're only going to find in quick settings. So make sure you check there if you're looking for something application specific. But here's the other bit is that within quick settings, you have an option when you're in the tree view here, you're arrowing up and down. Zero spelling options open to item one alphanumeric text read as word. Zero numbers options open to items. One, speak single digits threshold five or more digits restore on focus change one of two numbers options. Speak single digits if number contains dashes checked. Okay. So when you, I was and arrowing down through this list, you heard as I go up again, let's listen. Speak single digits threshold five or more digits restore on focus change. And it says restore on focus change within quick settings in this tree view, you're able to open up the applications menu. Speak single digits if number contains dashes checked. Shift F10, context menu R, restore setting when JAWS exits R, restore setting when focus changes E, save the setting checked S, restore setting when JAWS exits. And so you have Escape. a few different options there. The default is to save the setting for good, but you can actually change this so that you can make modifications that either allow you to save those settings just until focus changes. So for example, Escape. Edit. I didn't change anything, but Say I did and I was in Word and then I'm done working on this Word document. Meeting controls, menu, meeting controls. And I go back to what I'm doing. I change focus. Leaving menus, document one. And those changes are gone. They no longer stay with that. They no longer stay with your screen reader. You're able to just change focus and you automatically don't have those settings. And you might be asking yourself, what is the use case and where might I use these? And if you have an example, please hold on to it because I'd really like to hear how you use it. I'm going to talk a little bit more about how I use it here when we talk about changing has joined the meeting. settings on the fly. So now I'm going to open up Edge Chromium. Windows 4. New tab dash my. Here we are. And again, I'm going to open up Quick Settings. Quick Settings dash set dialog. Search box edit. Control plus E. And I'm going to type in progress. P R O G R E S S. Because I want to. Stars, one of one search results. I want to make sure that JAWS is set to read me the progress bar whenever I'm downloading something. I don't want it to be silent because that is an option. One search results list box, progress bar spoken. And it looks like it is spoken. I'm going to press enter. enter. And what that does again is jump me from the search results down to the tree view. Top and bottom edge silent, progress bar spoken. The progress bars are set to spoken. If I want to change this, I'll hit space bar. Space, silent, who of space, spoken. I want to leave them on spoken. And at this point, I can tab through the additional options in the dialog. Read only edit. This option controls whether or not JAWS announces progress bar updates. When set to spoken, JAWS will periodically read the percentages and installations. TH, TH. All right. Escape. And again, I'll escape. Now, if I did make a change and I wanted it to save, I could press escape and I would be prompted 
yes or no, do I want to save the changes that I made? So that is a little bit about quick From settings Reddit. versus setting center, which allows you to set something for just the current session and also gives you some additional settings above and beyond what's in the default group settings. A lot of people like to change your settings on the fly and I do this as well. And that's just, you're in the middle of doing something. And the first example I want to give is an example where I change settings that only last while that window is in focus. And that is when sometimes I do a say all. You can do a say all with JAWS in like a Word document or on a web page with insert down arrow and it'll read everything there is to be read on that screen. But what you can do is while it's reading, you can press page up to increase the speed temporarily or page down to de decrease the speed temporarily. And so I have to read a lot in a given day. And if I'm reading something, depending on its importance, and I may speed it up pretty darn fast if I need to get through it. And then at that point, I think of it more like a skim. Of course, I could use the proper skim reading tool. But at that point, I'm skimming over the document. And then when I leave that session, when I leave that web page, say someone sent me a, a blog article to read, I can read that really quickly. I can close out my web browser and then JAWS is back at its normal speed. So I've temporarily changed the speech rate. And that goes the very same if you would like to read a long document that has um, a lot of punctuation, and you want to change it temporarily, you could use quick settings to change the way that JAWS reads punct punctuation just for that session. But for these settings that I'm going to talk about now on the fly, these are permanent keyboard commands that I'd like to go over. I do frequently change my speech rate depending on what I'm reading, depending on whether or not I'm demoing for a webinar. And the way I do that, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with, is by holding down Control Windows Alt, the three the three keys down in the left hand corner of a typical QWERTY keyboard, and then page up to increase the speed to go faster, and then page down to go slower. And again, that's a permanent change. So I'm I'm changing a default setting, and every time I switch windows or end the JAWS session and start a new one, I'm still going to have that same speed. So that is how I typically change my speech rate on the fly, no matter what I'm doing, I usually make a permanent change unless I'm wanting to read something really quickly. And then I'll make that temporary change that I mentioned earlier. Another permanent change that is nice is that you can use shift JAWS key to, to change the punctuation level. So this can be set to most, all, some, or none. And this again is a default change. So you're changing this Permanently, it's not just for the current session, and you can use Shift, JAWS key, 2. And you're able to toggle. And I like this, again, it depends on what I'm reading. If I'm reading something with a lot of parentheses and brackets and um, business like that, I find it's just a little easier sometimes to turn it to a lower level of punctuation because I don't want to hear that extemporaneous information, extraneous information. And then another setting I change quite often on the fly is my voice profile. And I do this for a few different reasons. If you're ever using tandem, you may need to change your voice profile because if you're tandeming with someone in JAWS, you must be using the same synthesizer. And then also we like to do our demos relatively recently in the same voice. And so I am usually an Avia, Ava premium user and I'm kind of switching back to using Eloquence for my demos. So when I do that, I use JAWS key control S, Sam. Again, that's JAWS key control S and that brings up voice profiles box and you can quickly choose if you have a few different setup, you can choose between the different voices you like to use depending on the situation. So we've talked about how to temporarily and permanently change speech rate, how to adjust your punctuation settings, how to change your voice profile on the fly. And there's a cup, there's one more thing I wanted to mention, which is typing echo. And again, this can be changed temporarily if you're in that quick settings dialog, but depending on where you are, you may or may not want your typing echo set 
to different things. So for example, when I'm in a Word document, I may only want words echoed. So this is where I type a word and I hit spacebar and you can determine as a user what you prefer. Do you want every letter echoed? Do you want the word echoed um, after you hit space? Would you like neither or would you like both? And so insert or JAWS key plus two on the number row. You can toggle between these different options. And it says words, both characters and words, none and characters. And so a lot of people have really strong preferences about how they like their typing echo and what they're comfortable with. I know people who prefer everything echoed while they're actually editing a document. I know a lot of people who also prefer nothing echoed and then people who have different preferences, for example, if they're on the internet versus when they're editing a document. So there are quite a few settings that you can change on the fly. Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. To stay up to date on upcoming webinars and training events, complete the sign-up form at freedomscientific.com forward slash webinars. Thanks again for connecting with us.